The Corona craze is sweeping New York City, but there's only one place to get your hands on this sweet, flaky croissant donut hybrid, Dominic Ansel's Bakery in Manhattan. We're here to talk to the man behind the cronut, Dominic Ansel himself. The demand for cronuts is so huge that even on a rainy Friday morning, the line wrapped around two city blocks, with some waiting in line for as long as two hours. The craze has even sparked a cronut black market, where the pastries sell for as much as $40 a piece. Part donut, part croissant, the cronut started right here just over a month ago, after the first rose and vanilla flavored cronut hit the shelves. Chef Dominic Ansel's warm, welcoming demeanor is felt the second he opens the door for you, which he does when his bakery opens every morning. What made you want to combine my two favorite things on the planet, a croissant and a donut? <laughs> I think actually it's a lot of people's favorite. That's why it was like, it was making sense for me to put them together. Is this an obvious choice for you? Uh, not that obvious, but I like to create new things and come up with like new ideas. And this was a good one. When you made your first successful Krona, did you have any idea what you were starting? Uh, not really. I knew it was a good, good, good thing, a good item, a good addition to the menu, but I didn't know it was going to be that successful. What makes the cronut unique? How is it a little bit different from the croissant and the donut? Well, the dough is, uh, is very special. It's actually not uh, exactly a croissant dough. It's a little bit different. Uh, we work the recipe to get the layers very nice, uh, to get the texture right, and to keep it um, during the day as well for, for a couple hours at least. Now, I know... Tell me about the flavors that you've chosen, because you only have one flavor at a time, correct? We only have one flavor each month. So last month was vanilla and rose. That was the first one. And this month is uh, lemon and maple sugar. Any chance we can get a sneak peek on next month's flavor? I'm actually not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm still working on it, but I'm uh, expecting to do something uh, light and very uh, refreshing for the summer. So obviously there's a high demand for the cronuts. What are your thoughts on a cronut truck? A cronut truck? <laughs> I didn't think about it yet. Uh, we're very focused on, uh, on the bakery. For, the bakery for me is very important. So we're, very, uh, we're high in French bakery and the cronut is just an addition of our menu. I don't want to turn our bakery into a cronut shop. We have so many great <laughs> items on the menu and so many, so many like, beautiful things to choose from. So the cronut is just an addition of the menu. The, the bakery will not turn into a cronut shop. Anything you want to say to the people in New York who have yet to try a cronut? No, like the cronut is a great thing. Uh, I will tell them to come to the bakery and try other things we have, because we have so many things to choose from. And I put as much love and care in all of the pastries. So please come and try it. If you want to get your hands on a Krona, you better get there early. The line starts forming at 5.30 in the morning and they're sold out by 9 a.m. with a limit of two per customer. Marisa Christian, Abbey Times TV.